sure to produce a lot of highlights. It makes me think of Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there, and it's Bridges in at the three spot. Paul passes to Booker. And Adebayo sends it back. And a menace defensively, Adebayo with the SWAT. He, he's an all-defensive team member for a reason. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Oh, that was a strong dunk. That is nice. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Sharch has checked in for Aiton. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. Landry Shamit's checked in for Booker. And it's Payne in for Chris Paul. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Tipped away. Charge passes to Bridges. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Payne looking around. One on the clock. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Robinson passes to Tucker, and he dunks it down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the basket is good. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Heat. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. And they've taken advantage of the turnovers they've caused, getting a lot of their offense straight off their defense. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Well, Kyle Lowry, one of the big names in free agency last summer, made his mind up pretty quickly and wanted to go to Miami. With his competitive nature, he should be a terrific fit with the culture that he'd have built. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Suns trail by 14. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I briefly spoke with Coach Monty Williams. We talked about how Kyle Lowry still serves as the engine for this team. Coach says, you know that cliche, cut off the head, the body will die? That's still the deal with Lowry. You need to slow him down so the rest of the team can't get going. The logic is sound. The execution will be tougher. Guys? Thank you, David. Lock at six. To end the run, Bridges shot. Good. Well, with the high release point on Mikel Bridges' jumper, it's very hard to contest. Just a matter of being consistent now. Now, here's Tucker. He's guarded by Johnson. A nice shot by Tucker. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Knocks it loose. Lowry with the ball. Now guarded by Payne. Count that one. That's 10 points for Kyle Lowry. Five of five to start. I think he's in his own. Payne passes to Johnson. One forty-six left in the first. Just four to shoot. Tries from ten. 
Offensive rebound, Bridges. And that one is good. Bridges has got his second basket. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. There's the pass to Tucker. Johnson over to help. A nice shot by Tucker. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Adebayo with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Here's Payne. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Here's Scharch. And Adebayo sends it back. Here's Robinson. And Robinson throws it down home. They have been excellent. So far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Scharch, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And you love how much Hart Bam plays with defensively, working overtime on that possession. And so it's the Miami Heat. Finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. Welcome back, everyone. It's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Heat team out there. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. So with Lowry on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Sam Adebayo is out there with Butler. Then there's Oladipo. Then it's Duncan Robinson. And it's Hero in at the shooting guard position. Here's Adebayo. Drops it in from 11 feet. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. Booker the pass to Smith. Smith thrown the double team. Looking for Crowder. He gets it there. And that one's good, Ayton. Ayton's got his first points in this one. This guy has got a dominant physical frame, incredible athleticism. Nice job by DeAndre Ayton inside. Phoenix with the ball. Greg, you were just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. He's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. Well, that's the court awareness of Mr. Devin Booker. This guy increasingly becoming such a good passer. Shoots from the high post. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid-range. Timeout called, the Suns. The Heat making a switch here. Edmonds checked in. And for the Suns, JaVale McGee comes in for Smith. And it's Peyton in for Devin Booker. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. 
Payton with the ball. Payton kicks to Paul. Here's McGee. Lays it up and banks it in. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And slam dunk by Butler. You can get a real sense that Victor Oladipo loves sharing the wealth. What a nice look. And here are the Suns now. Not loose. Robinson with it. Now guarded by Crowder. Robinson drives in. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. Outer dishes to Peyton. Robinson goes in, and the dunk by Robinson. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Now, the NBA does get high marks for its diversity, but there is some frustration on that front when we look at head coaches and front office positions. All-star Carl Anthony Towns said, men of color deserve a chance to lead a team, run an organization, and make their mark. Not just with a jersey on, but with a suit on. Guys? Thank you, David. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Aiton. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Crowder, and it's Booker in for Paul. And so Peyton will bring it up for the Suns. Suns moving the ball around. Kaminsky against Oladipo. Just five on the clock. It's blocked. And watch how Hero uses a burst of speed to get ahead of the shot. Managing to swat that one away. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Booker draws the double. In transition, here comes Miami. Oladipo's running, and then Oladipo with the jam! Uh, there's just an innate sense from Victor Oladipo of when to get after it on the steals end of things. This guy's defensive instincts are impressive. And here come the Heat again. Miami with the fast break. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. Well, this is their pace. This is exactly how they want to play. A little fast, a little loose. And here's the fast break. Oladipo leading the way. And it's Oladipo with the jam. Well, this is an all-around threat. Oladipo terrific at coming up with steals and then capitalizing on the other end. It's stolen by Oladipo. Pass to Hero. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Hero's got six in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Drives to the hoop, and that one is hammered home. More than a great jump shooter, Hero is a tremendous ball handler who can finish the drive with either hand. We've got 33 seconds left now here in the second. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Oladipo. All alone, and it's good on the way in. Oladipo's got 10. Uh, defense for me just hasn't made the commitment to sprint back in transition and that's why you see such a huge differential in fast break points and we're going to have a jump ball it's tied up there Phoenix with the ball Kaminsky finds Bridges poke loose Booker outside and so it's the Miami Heat able to put on a show for the agents. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? They played smart. They took their time and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the ball. Shaq, what'd you think about Phoenix? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Miami with the ball. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Ayton is the pivot and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. Boy, this guy just giving it everything he has. Tucker doing major damage in transition. Stolen by Tucker. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Yeah, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And Adebayo sends it back. Ayton against Lowry. Lowry drawing the double team. And here is Bridges. It's stolen by Adebayo. And now Adebayo pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Here's Lowry. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And really pushing the tempo. Fast break buckets, a big factor for them offensively. And maybe we don't talk enough about what a great teammate Lowry is. Passionate. He leads by example and always vocal. That one drops for him. That's 12 points for Victor Oladipo. Hey, guys, you'd have to say this run really triggered by their transition offense. Booker outside. Outside Crowder. Five on the clock. To the middle. It's stolen by Adebayo. Three on three. And Adebayo throws it down. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. I'll tell you. Right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. It's stolen by Lowry. Pass to Tucker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. When Lowry won gold in 2016, the U.S. team coaches had very high praise. Yeah, you can call him their unsung hero. The best team player out of anybody. This guy shows emotion and guys feed off his energy. It's stolen by Oladipo. Here's Tucker. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Well, he's really finding his rhythm. Tucker lighting it up at an unusual pace tonight. Al Paul. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. That's tipped. It's stolen by Oladipo. 
It's good again in an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Heat. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. Booker the pass to Crowder. Kicks it out to Booker. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Tucker. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Well, that's what you call an intimidating finish. Tucker's explosive leaping ability on full display, guys. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Poked away. Stolen by Tucker. And again, Miami running the court in transition. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist by Oladipo. 18 points for Kyle Lowry. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. A different look for Miami. Robinson's checked in for Butler. And Hero subbed in for Victor Oladipo. 36 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Lowry brings the double, and the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. A, a lot of points off their turnovers this quarter. Way too many. The Heat making a switch here. Akpala's checked in. There's 31 seconds left here in the third quarter. Passes it to Autobio. And he goes in for the dunk. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. Now, here's Shamit. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Lowry. And so it's Miami holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. At court pair for them, it's Lowry and Robinson. Dwayne Dedman is out there with Adebayo. And it's Akpala in at the three slot. Outside Lowry. And the pass to Akpala. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Wow, what an easy look Kyle Lowry creates for his teammates. One of the best setup men in the entire league. Knocked away. Pass to Shamit. Charge outside. Johnson in the corner. Four on the clock. Pulls up. High post. And the shot falls short this time. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Ooh, just shook his man loose with a crafty play inside. And then the dunk just tops it off beautifully. And another steal for him. And he's just been able to anticipate their every move. Yeah, you're right. An absolute pest on the defensive end. 
Another turnover there leading to a basket. Lowry with the ball. Now guarded by Payne. Count the basket. That's now 22 points for Kyle Lowry. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Payne down low, looking to end the run, and that's two points on the layup. Well, because of his size and length, Dario Saric so comfortable on the interior. Lowry with the ball, working on Payne, and they pick up two. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Lowry has the open look. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Lowry's got 26. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Into the lane. Count it. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. Outside Robinson. Pass to Deadman. Trying to get open is Adebayo. Shots good by Deadman. Deadman's got four points now in the quarter. Payne passes to Johnson. Sharch dishes to Johnson. And Sharch kicks to Shamit. Six on the shot clock. Over Robinson. Releases from the wing and drills it. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And there's the drive. The slam dunk by Robinson. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Now here's Payne. Tight defense on him. Lowry, good. Lowry's got 30. Well, Kyle Lowry is never going to turn down a chance to get out and run. It pays off in the break. Now here's Payne, now recovering. And he finishes the break with a lay-in. Lowry's got 32 points in the game. You know, we're never opposed to a little creativity. Ooh, did he have plenty of that? The double pump having some fun. For Phoenix, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. A different look for Miami. Struess has checked in, and Vincent subbed in for Robinson. One thirty-six left to play in the final quarter. To the left side wing. Now here is McGee. He's tightly guarded and stolen by Kyle Lowry. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Heat. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And what a huge standout performance it was for Kyle Lowry. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Kyle Lowry. It's stolen. Deadman inside. Guarded by McGee. Shots good by Deadman. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Here's Akpawa, defended by Bridges. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate.
Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt, helps. And the execution was flawless. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying...